Here's our plate. Uh, this isn't a particular good one. It's, it's got a it's, it's a real short core, okay? It doesn't the media doesn't cover quite the bottom of the plate. But that's fine. We'll use this one for uh, demonstration. We've got our plate. Looks good. You've identified it with the culture you're going to use. You've got yourself sorted out here. So everything is handy. I'm right-handed. Cultures are on the left. If you're left-handed, cultures are on your right in appropriate rack, okay? So you're going to fling your needle like this. Or your inoculator. Your loop. Sorry. Okay, like that. You're going to let it cool. You've had a look at your culture. You've vortexed it. It's well mixed. Okay, so you can either work with the plate upside down, as I've shown you before, or if you want, initially you can work with it right side up and work on the bench. I prefer this method because I can work closer to the plank. All right, so we've cooled the loop, and this is the uh, serratia. So we'll go down and we'll, oops, and we'll take a loop full of that. Clean that back on. And then we'll take the plate like this and we're going to work close to the plane. Okay? So I'm going to go real slow here and I'm going to compromise the sterility and the aseptic techniques that we're using. Okay? I've got the needle. I'm coming in at a shallow angle. We're not trying to streak it like this, breaking the surface of the media. Okay? You don't want to do that, all right? I'm exaggerating. What you're going to do, you're going to take the needle, I should say, the loop. You can burn off that bit of media there and let it cool. If you don't let it cool and you put it on the plate, it's going to go. You don't want to do that. So you want to let it cool. Another little technique you can use to make sure that the, uh, the loop is cool. Not such a problem with the needle because it's much uh, much smaller gauge. Is that initially um, initially not in this particular case, but you can just on the side just plunge it into the media like that to cool it. But it won't be used in conjunction with this particular technique. I'm just mentioning it now. It just gives you some assurance that that you've cooled it. In any regard. You've, you've got your inoculum then, you're going to begin your streaking, and you're going to start at a shallow angle with the loop flat on the media, okay? And you're just going to carry out your streaks like this. Now, they may not be as straight as I've drawn on the board, okay? It just depends. Now, you, you have to hold the plate at an angle to the light so you can see where you're, where you're streaking, okay? See, you don't want to do that. So, in that particular case, it's so easy to do, okay? I did that on purpose. Okay? So you carry out that, but you can see how easy it is to do. Okay, and at that point, you will claim your, your loop. And let it cool. Now, at this particular point, you could make sure it's cool. You could just put it in the media like that, okay? Because if it's too hot, as soon as you touch this area where you've already done your streaking, all right, it would kill the bacteria, the media, okay? And you wouldn't be able to pull as much around the plate. So in this particular case, then, you would carry out, like, in the second, in the second quadrant. You, like I say, you probably can't see what I'm doing here because I've got to hold the plate just, just so in the light. Okay, so I took about four streaks across and then of course then you would move out of it and carry on. And then you'd flame it again, cool it, and for the amount of streaks I've done on this plate then, you could probably do well, I've got one, two, three, and you could do the fourth one like right into the middle like this. Like that. Okay? So you can see some of the the good, bad, and the ugly on this plate. You want to get your lines, your street lines, separated. You don't want them to cross. You don't want to gouge the media, like I've illustrated here. You want to come in at a shallow angle with your loop 
flat, flat on the media. Now later on, you can use this other technique that we mentioned where you use your loop on the edge. But this becomes a little more difficult because there's more of a tendency to, to dig into the media. But you can see that when you do the lines with the loop on its edge, the lines are much, much finer. And you're carrying across, carrying around the plate, much less inoculum, which increases your opportunities for the isolation of the colonies. All right? So there's the good, bad, and the ugly. And the other one that I've mentioned there is simply a variation on, on the, first, the first one.